Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day everyone. Today we are going to speak about the structure of the menu of any restaurants inside Jasmine Restaurant Management System. So what do we have here? Uh, we, we will speak about the menus. Jasmine RMS is designed to be able to handle unlimited number of menus. Each restaurant can define multiple menus. For example, one menu for normal days, one for Ramadan, one for Eid al-Adha, others for special occasions and events. Only one menu will be considered the default. The menu will be shown on the BOS machine and the waiter baths in the outlets. All outlets, all outlets share the same default menu. It is not allowed to have a menu for each outlet. So, we have one restaurant here, and we have normal menu, we have Ramadan menu, we have Eid al-Adha menu, Wednesday morning menu, we can define as much menus as we want, but only one menu is the default menu. So, how can we define a menu? Uh, let's go uh, into the uh, enterprise portal and define a menu together. So this is the enterprise portal, enterprise.jasminebos.com. And uh, once we reach here, we can sign in. I will sign in with my username and password. I will click remember me and we log in. For the purpose of this video, we are using a restaurant called The Tasty. And The Tasty has one outlet in a Rayyan area. So what we do, we go to menu and go to menus. When we click on menus, we have already, I have already defined one called normal menu and it is the default menu. I can create a new menu from here and I will say, for example, Ramadan menu. If I say confirm, now we have two menus on under the same restaurant under this uh, uh, restaurant which is called the tasty now it has two menus one is the normal and it is the default and what one uh, another one is called ramadan menu and it is not default now i can work and define items under uh, each of those menus define categories modifiers modifier sets I can uh, uh, put uh, uh, everything I want under this menu and it will show uh, in the BOS machines, on the waiter bag, everywhere. Now, once we are in Ramadan, I need only to do so one thing. I will go here and I will press make default. So if I click now make default, the system will ask me, are you sure you want to set this menu, Ramadan menu? As a default, I will say confirm, and now Ramadan menu is the default. It will be shown on all BOS and all waiter baths, and now we can work on Ramadan menu. Once Ramadan finish, I can go back to the normal menu. I need only to click like this. Once I click here, the system will ask me, do you want to set this as a default menu? And I can say confirm. This is very easy to handle a menu inside Jasmine RMS system. So let's go back to our uh, uh, document. And we have something inside the menu called menu items. So each menu can have unlimited number of items. When defining a new menu item, we should provide the following information. Item kind. We can choose from food, beverage, sweets, shisha, and kids' menu. Item name with the primary language. This is where we put the item name in the primary language. This is where we put in the secondary language. And this is the selling price. So it is recommended to have the primary language in English because it will be shown on the BOS machine, waiter baths, customer receipt, kitchen orders, sales report, on all the screens uh, in Enterprise uh, uh, Edition, we will use the item name in primary language. The secondary language 
it will show only on the receipt, on the QR code menu, on the uh, uh, some places where uh, you need the dual language feature of Jasmine. So the secondary language is inputted here. And then we have to provide the selling price from here. And is, is this item an active or not active? And this is important, the open price. So the open price, we have to put it yes or no from here. And when we define the item as an open price, this means that the waiter or the cashier can change the price while bunching it, while adding the item to the order. If you keep it in the no, yani like this, it's not uh, checked, uh, then the waiter or the cashier cannot change the price of the item. It, the system will take this price here, selling price. If you put it open price, it will uh, uh, allow the ca cashier and the waiter to change the price from the BOS machine. Let's go and add one or two items in the portal. So the portal is here. Uh, we go to menu, we go to items and items management. We click here. It's important to choose which menu you are going to add the item in. So I will add it on normal menu. I will create a new item from here and I will add it beverages let's say for example 7 up and I will put it here in Arabic 7 up and the selling price for example 5 reals and is it, it is active and I don't want the waiter to change or the cashier to change the price so confirm so now we have one item here it's under beverages and the item name is 7 up selling price is 5 reals and the flags is it active yes open price no and here we can add one image we can add one image if I click on on this I can add an image for the item it is important to add an image if you want to show this image on the waiter pad or on the control uh, on the QR code menu of Jasmine uh, uh, system. So uh, now we added one uh, item as Seven Up. Let's add another item, for example, food, and we will add it uh, vegetable uh, pizza, for example. And uh, vegetable pizza, maybe we have two uh, uh, sizes. Let's say small, and we put here uh, a pizza khudar and hajam saghir. And the selling price is, for example, 25 riyals. And I say confirm. Now we have one item with, which is under beverage and another item under food. Let's add the uh, 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 vegetable pizza, but big, uh, uh, um, big size. Okay, create new. Again, food. So we will enter it as pizza. No. <clears throat> so vegetable pizza. But here we will put large. And here uh, pizza khudar hajam kabir and we close and the selling price we will put it 45 reals and here we can put open price if we wanted the item or the waiter to change the price from the BOS now we have uh, two food items and one beverage item from here I can uh, filter by uh, I, I need to see I want to see only the beverage so I uh, I can filter from here I need to see all the food I can filter from here and you want to see all the shisha there is no shisha at all from here so this is how you uh, add items into the system what if you want to change the selling price of seven up from five reals and put it six reals you can choose this one you click on it and you change uh, the price from five to six reals and you say confirm 
and now it is changed to six reals. It is um, very easy to add and define menu items inside uh, uh, Jasmine RMS. Now, after we define the items, we can define the categories. So the menu can have unlimited number of categories. We can uh, define a breakfast category, appetizers, soup, sandwiches, main course, hot drinks, cold drinks, what, whatever we want. And we can define the categories in the in that in the way that will be easy for the cashier and waiters to memorize the menu. So from where we can define the categories, let's go to the portal again. So if we go to menus, categories, and here we have to choose the menu from here, the menu that we are working on, and then we create a new category. We have to provide the primary language and secondary language. We always prefer to have the primary language in English and the secondary language in Arabic. So. The primary language uh, we will put, uh, for example, uh, now we need pizza and we will put here uh, pizza and is it active or not? We will confirm and then we will create a new category called uh, soft drinks and we will put here Mashrubat uh, Ghaziya and we can confirm. If we need to change the name of this uh, category, we can go always to this uh, button here, press it, and you can change and make confirm. So I, I didn't make any change, but I make the confirm. If you want to show the image of the category on the QR code, menu or on the waiter bed, you can assign it from here and you can upload uh, the photo of the category from here. Um, after we assign, after we uh, configured and defined all our uh, categories, now we can go back and uh, we can uh, assign the items inside categories. So Jasmine RMS give me the ability to assign the same item to one or more categories. So for example, I can assign the lentil soup item to the soup category. This is easy, this is straightforward. And I can also uh, assign, for example, I have an item called halloumi cheese. Let's add one halloumi cheese to the menu, halloumi cheese. I will copy it and go back here, menu, items, items management, and I will choose my menu, the normal menu. I will create uh, under food, halloumi, a cheese, and I will hone, uh, here I will put uh, halloumi cheese blade, for example, or uh, halloumi cheese uh, halloumi cheese plate okay or let me change here and put it grilled halloumi cheese uh -huh. and here jubna halloum mashwi okay and the selling price is for example 20 reals and we put it confirm. And now we have uh, halloumi grilled uh, cheese. Very easy. And I will go now to the categories and choose the uh, menu. I will create a new category called uh, appetizers. I'm sorry. Appetizers. And here. Uh, مقبلات. I will confirm and also I will create a new category called breakfast iftar 
So uh, now we have four categories in the system appetizers, breakfast, pizza, and soft drinks. All those categories are under the normal menu. If we go to Ramadan menu, it's empty, there is no categories. I can define different categories for Ramadan menu than the normal menu. I can define categories in normal menu different from Ramadan menu. Now, let's assign the items to categories. We go to menu, items, and we here assign items in category. So, we click here. Now, I choose my menu. The system will give me all the items in that menu and I choose from here the category I want to assign the items into the category. So in the category of appetizers, I will assign Shibna Halloumi. So grilled Halloumi cheese, assign. So I have now the grilled Halloumi cheese inside appetizers. Now if I go to breakfast, I want also grilled halloumi cheese to be assigned to breakfast, assigned. So now when the waiter goes to the category of breakfast, he will find grilled halloumi cheese. If he goes to appetizers, he will find also grilled halloumi cheese. And this will be easy for us because we define the item once and we can display it uh, on different categories uh, without the uh, need to add uh, the item twice or to uh, define the item twice uh, just to add it to multiple categories. Now I want to add uh, two items to the pizzas. For example, those two items, I can assign them. Now they are assigned to pizzas, uh, pizza category. I want to add the seven up to the soft drink and I press assign from here. It's very easy. Uh, you can check your work from here, you can check like this, you can do pizzas, you can do soft drinks, everything is here. And from here on the left, you can also filter the items by status, you see active only or show all, you can by kind, for example, I want only to see the food, I want to see only the beverage, I can filter from here. And also I can sort the uh, uh, menu items by kind then item name I can sort it by the name in Arabic I can sort it by the item ID I can sort it by whatever I want uh, to make it easy for me to find the item and assign it to the category I want so this is how we assign an item into category so after we finished defining the menus, menu items, and menu categories, we also learned how to put the items inside the categories, we need to speak about the kitchen stations. So each outlet of one restaurant can have one or more kitchen stations. So we have one restaurant has multiple outlets. Each outlet can have one or more kitchen stations. The kitchen stations are special areas inside the kitchen where certain menu items are prepared. For example, the cold appetizers are prepared in the cold station, the grill items are prepared near the grill station, the pizza, fatire are prepared near the oven station. When we define a new kitchen station, we should provide the following information. The station name, and it should be unique, and is it active or not. There are two important things we have to know. The first important thing, kitchen station name that we provide here in this screen should match the name of the printer defined on the Windows operating system. This is important. The same name we use to define the printer inside Windows should match the same name we define here and create when we create a new station. We need to consult with the restaurant owner, manager, and the network engineer before we define the kitchen station on the enterprise portal. For example, this restaurant wants to add uh, three stations. 
And when we consult with the network engineer, he said, okay, I can do it for you, but it will cost X amount of the, of money. And the owner said, no, 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 I cannot afford to uh, 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 make those uh, changes in the kitchen. You cannot open the ceiling. There are a lot of cons uh, any constraints that you cannot use the ceiling for anything. So what we do is always consult the network engineer and the restaurant owner or manager before we define the stations or install the physical stations inside the kitchen. Now, Jasmine has something very good in, named uh, KDS, which is Kitchen Data Screen, and we have something called uh, uh, Kitchen Tablet. And this replaces the uh, traditional kitchen printer inside the kitchen. It doesn't need any uh, network cabling. It only needs uh, 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 Wi-Fi, so you can put uh, KDS or kitchen tablets inside your kitchen no need for cabling no need for uh, special equipment or uh, drilling or just uh, putting the cables on the ceiling or under the ground just uh, uh, put the kitchen tablet on the wall and uh, attach it to the Wi-Fi it will work like a normal printer but even better because you can uh, mark the item as served you can switch between item uh, order and order and it will give you a beep or reminder when the order is late so anyway before we have to have the station name as defined as the printer defined on the windows operating system the second thing we need to consult with the restaurant owner and the network engineer before we define and install the kitchen stations. There is one special kitchen station, it's called the dispatching or the packaging station. So when we define and uh, like when we define the cold station or the grill items or the oven, the pizza, we define those stations and we assign items some items to those stations where they should be prepared but the dispatching or packaging station where we print the total order uh, without dividing it and there is some uh, employee called the dispatcher who assembles the order inside the bag if it is a takeaway or on a tray if it is a dine-in and give it to the runner or give it to the uh, uh, delivery uh, driver when it is ready so we can define normal kitchen stations and we can define dispatching or packaging stations let's uh, go to the portal and try to do that uh, now so inside the uh, enterprise control panel we go to menus stations and from here we do choose outlet this restaurant, the Tasty restaurant, has one outlet called Raya, and we create a new stations here. So the first station I will create is called Oven, where we will prepare our pizzas and confirm. The second station I will uh, create, I will call it uh, Beverages, where we will uh, prepare our mojito, our cocktails, uh, called uh, drinks, hot uh, tea, coffee and the seven ups also the soft drinks and here we can also create one uh, last uh, station and we call it appetizers for example or not appetizers we will call it hot appetizers where we'll prepare our uh, for example uh, halloumi um, and we will press confirm and we need one station which is a dispatching station so we create now here a dispatching station okay and confirm remember the names here should match the names that we define on the windows operating system now, after we define those stations, how can we assign 
the items, the menu items to different station. We go to menu, items, and inside items in stations. We go to items in stations. We choose our menu, normal menu, for example. We will see all the items inside the menu. We already defined the 7 up, the griddled halloumi, the vegetable pizza, vegetable pizza, small and large. And of course, on the left, we can filter the items. We can see only the food. We can see all. And also, we can sort them from here. From the right, we choose which station we are going to assign the item to. So I will choose the oven and I will put the grilled halloumi cheese oh, sorry the oven we are going to use it to prepare the pizzas so I will assign those two pizzas to the oven and for the beverages I will assign the 7 up so assign and for the hot appetizers I will assign the grilled halloumi cheese and assign and for the dispatching station, I will assign all of them. So I will uh, uh, check all of them and then assign. Let us check from the beginning. Oven, we have two items inside. Vegetable pizza small and vegetable pizza large. For the beverages, we have the 7-Up. For the hot appetizers, we have the grill. And for the dispatching, we have all of them are added into the dispatching station and that's how we create the uh, uh, kitchen stations and that's how we assign the menu items to the kitchen station we uh, uh, assign it the same way as we assign the categories and all items should be assigned to kitchen stations for example if you forgot to assign one item to any kitchen station uh, the waiter can add it to the order and when he send the order to the kitchen by clicking the send uh, order button uh, it will not print anywhere it will not show in any station and this will cause problems with the customers because really we entered we punched the item and we sent it to the kitchen but because we are not assigning it to any kitchen station it was not printed, it didn't appear on the KDS or kitchen uh, uh, tablet, so the kitchen didn't prepare it, and the order was missing one or two items. That was the kitchen stations, and uh, now we will move to the uh, uh, menu modifiers. Uh, modifiers are like uh, extra cheese, extra onion, uh, and can be defined on the menu level. So menu modifiers are like menu items. We uh, define them on the menu level. Each menu can have unlimited numbers, a number of modifiers. When defining a new modifier, uh, you should provide the following information. The modifier name in primary language and the modifier name in secondary language. They will show in the uh, BOS machine in uh, primary language. They will show on the waiter bed in primary language but on the customer receipt in the kitchen order we send both languages in the kitchen primary and secondary and it will show on the receipt also in primary and secondary if you have somebody in the kitchen that doesn't understand English they can uh, read the uh, modifiers in Arabic we also add the selling price from here and is the modifier active or not active Important, if the modifier is offered for free, we should put the selling price as zero. So selling price here, if we are going to uh, uh, put, offer that modifier for free, we put here zero. Let's see how we can add it uh, into the portal here, enterprise.jasminebios.com. We go to menu, we go to modifiers, and then modifiers management. So we put here modifiers management. We choose our menu, normal menu, and we create a new modifier. I will create it here extra uh, cheese, for example. 
and here we will put uh, jibna ziada and we will sell this with seven reals for example and confirm we will add uh, create new modifier for example and we will add here extra onion and we will put here basal ziada and the selling price is for example uh, also seven reals and confirm now this is as easy as it takes we can also modify here if we found that our writing is not correct the selling price we wanted eight reals for example for the extra cheese we can add it here now uh, uh, once we modify uh, once we define the modifiers now we have something called uh, modifiers sets what is modifier sets modifier sets are a group of one or more menu modifiers for example i have some modifiers specialized for pizza and other modifiers specialized for uh, sandwiches so uh, for burgers for example so i can create a group of modifiers only for uh, sandwiches and a group of modifiers other group of modifiers only for uh, 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 pizzas so when we define a new uh, set we need to provide the set name in primary language and set name in secondary language the set name in secondary language is optional but we have to provide the uh, primary language and is it active yes or no after we create the modifier set we can assign the modifiers to the created set let's see how are we going to do that so we go back to uh, jasmine enterprise.jasminepos.com and from the menu we go to modifiers and here we can create and define the modifier sets so we'll go there and we will add one modifier set we will call it pizza modifier modifiers for example okay uh, and in arabic idafat uh, al pizza okay and this is active and we confirm and now we have a new set called pizza modifiers idafat al pizza and it is active if we want to change the name we can just click here and we will see it and we can change and modify the name of the modifier set and after we uh, really uh, created the modifier set now we can assign the, mo the modifiers we can um, assign the modifiers to the modifier set let's let's see how uh, can we do that so we go to menu modifiers and then modifiers inside sets so we click here modifiers in sets we will choose from here the normal menu it will show from here all the modifiers that we have defined and from here it will show all the modifier sets that we are we defined so we have the pizza modifier set here and here we have all the available modifiers now we will take all of those and put them inside the pizza modifiers so i will choose this and this and assign now this modifier set has those assigned modifiers so inside this pizza modifiers we have two modifiers and they are extra cheese and extra onion now we want to assign the total set to an item how can we do this so uh, assigning modifier set to a menu item menu items can have one 
or more modifier cells. So we can add one modifier set to an item or we can add multiple modifier sets to an item. For example, we have pasta and this pasta has two kinds of sauce, white sauce and uh, red sauce. And after that, we can add, uh, we have uh, another set which is uh, do you want extra cheese or do you want extra onion? I want the sauce modifier set to be the display order 10 and then the extras I wanted 20. Why? I want the set of sauce first and I want the uh, second extra uh, next. I have to provide also the title of the modifier set. I put the title the title here and then I have to put the minimum choices so if I leave it zero this means the total set is optional but if I put here one this means that the waiter should at least choose one uh, uh, option one modifier from the options shown to him what is the maximum choices let's say one set has 24 modifiers we can put here the maximum choice is three so the waiter cannot choose more than three choices from this modifier set let's have a full uh, 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 exercise on pasta let's choose and create an item called pasta and then add some modifiers to this pasta Let's go to our menu. We'll go to items, items management. And in the normal menu, we will add here create a new item. And under food, we will create here something called pasta. And uh, here also, we will call it pasta. And the selling price we are selling with uh, 30 reals. And we confirm. Now we have one new item called pasta. This is very easy. But we have white pasta, we have red uh, uh, red pasta. So let's go, it has white sauce and red sauce. So we go to menu, modifiers, and we create two modifiers for this, uh, for this item. We choose normal menu, create new modifier, and here we will uh, choose white sauce, sauce obiad, and it is offered for free. Why it is offered for free? Because the customer already is paying the 30 reals for the pasta. This is only optional, uh, and it will say that this customer likes the uh, white sauce or he likes the red sauce. Let's confirm it. Let's add a new modifier, but now we will call it red sauce, for example, and we will put here sauce ahmar. And it is also for free, and we confirm. <clears throat> now we have two modifiers for the sauce and two modifiers for the extra. Let's go to menu, modifiers, and now we'll go to modifier sets. We already created, let's choose our menu. We already created the pizza modifiers. And inside there is the modifiers of the pizza. Let's create two modi modifier sets. One we call it uh, source uh, uh, modifiers. Uh, for pasta let's put it like this and here let's call اختيارات الصوص للباستا ok and confirm so now we have another modifier set for the pasta now those pizza modifiers if you remember it has inside the uh, extra cheese and extra uh, uh, onion. Let's create a new set and we call it pasta 
uh, extra and here we call it idafat al pasta and we confirm now we created two uh, uh, modifier set one we called it pasta extra and one we call it sauce modifiers for pasta now we have two sets let's put the modifiers assign the modifiers into the modifier sets or groups let's go to modifiers modifiers in sets and we choose our menu normal menu you remember here we have the pizza modifiers and inside there is the extra cheese and extra onion let's go for sauce modifier for pasta and here we will add only those two modifiers sign and after that we will go to pasta extras and we will add those two to the pasta extra and we say assign after we have the three modifier sets ready let's assign those modifier groups or sets to the menu item itself so how can we do that we go to menu items and items modifiers we click here we go to choose menu we choose normal menu and we have all the modifier sets inside that we have defined the pasta extra has two modifiers if i want to see who, what are they i can see that there is jibna ziyada and basal ziyada okay i can see that there is extra cheese and extra onion and inside pizza modifiers i can see the same extra cheese and extra onion and for the sauce modifier for pasta i can see i have the sauce the red sauce and the white sauce now i will choose here the pasta so i go to pasta and i say to the system i need to add two modifier sets the first one which is mandatory is the sauce chooser so i add it from here i put the display order as low as possible i keep the sauce modifiers for pasta or i can change and here i will say uh, sauce sorry sauce chooser for pasta and here i will say to the system that the waiter has to choose at least one of the choices and he cannot choose more than one because the pasta cannot have white sauce and red sauce at the same time so the minimum choice is one the maximum choice is one and i confirm so what happened now is for the pasta i have one assigned modifier sets under the name sauce chooser for pasta and it has one minimum choice and one maximum choice i will add now the pasta extra and this i will put 20 why because i want it to be shown after the first one which is the pasta chooser so this is pasta extra i will keep it as is minimum choice is zero because the customer might choose extra things or might not choose extra thing and what is the maximum choices too because the customer can choose extra onion and extra cheese together i will confirm and now the pasta the pasta item menu item has two modifier set the first one sauce chooser for pasta and the second one is the pasta extra and this will show be shown to the waiter at the first screen if he chooses one of the red or white sauce he can then move to the pasta extras and he then he can choose nothing he can choose one he can choose two extras and then he can uh, uh, confirm the order and send it to the kitchen if i want to see uh, what are the modifiers inside this 
I can press this and I can see what are the modifiers inside it and I can press this and I can find what are the modifiers inside this set. Remember that we need to add for the vegetable pizza small. I can add the pizza modifiers. So add like this. I don't want to change anything. Confirm. I will go to pizza, vegetable pizza large. I can add this. I don't want to change anything here and confirm. And that's it. Now we have uh, created a modifier. We created modifier sets and we assigned the modifiers into sets. And then we went to items modifiers and we choose the items from here and we assign the available sets into the items. That's it. It's very easy to configure and modify and and uh, assign uh, the modifiers to any menu item. What you need to understand is if you leave this zero, this means the modifier set is optional. If you put minimum choices one, two, three, the waiter cannot send the order to the kitchen until he chooses one of the choices. The display order is very important. Which set is going to be shown first to the waiter uh, in the screen of the BOS or the waiter bar? And uh, after we uh, finished all our uh, work on the menu, now it's time to update the menu on the BOS machines. So how can we update uh, the menu on the BOS machines or on the waiter bad uh, uh, application? Now, after we created the menu, we uh, defined the items, we changed some prices, we changed some description of the item, we add the modifiers, we assign the modifiers, we changed something in the kitchen stations. After all of this, we need those changes are not applied directly into the BOS machine because we might uh, just making some uh, testing, we are changing the names, we are not uh, uh, fully satisfied of the modifications that we have done. After we are uh, confident and we are ready, we go to the post machine and go to the settings, outlet settings, and we download the assets into the uh, boss machine. If we want to update the waiter pads, it's very easy. We can go and update the waiter bed from pressing this uh, uh, button here and the waiter bed will download all the assets, all the menu, all the things that we have modified into the waiter bed and the waiter bed will be ready. Let's check how can we do this on uh, Jasmine Restaurant Management System, the BOS module. So now it is connected for for the restaurant made taste, named Tasty and Arrayan branch. We go settings, outlet settings, download assets. The system will show me three buttons. The first button is connect to cloud server and connection to cloud server status connected. Please connect to local server. Now I can connect to local server. Connection to local server status connected. You can download assets now and I can download the assets from here. Now it is downloading all the assets, all the menus, all the modifiers, all the modifier sets into my system. Now I can uh, go back like this. Uh, this is how we do it. This is how we download the assets. If we go here, we can see that uh, we downloaded the kitchen stations, we downloaded the menu modifier sets, 
we downloaded the uh, modifiers in sets, uh, we downloaded the uh, items in stations, items category, uh, everything was downloaded from the cloud. We can close this. If I choose to log in, let's log in here. Uh, the user like this. If I go into the takeaway, I can see now we have four uh, four uh, categories and we have if you choose the pizza you will find here if you choose the soft drink you will find here and you choose appetizers and breakfast let's choose uh, open a new order customer name mobile is optional we can do like this if I want to add a soft drink to the order 7 up confirm it's very straightforward but now if I want to add the pizza if I choose the pizza small the system will give me not only the quantity to choose from it also give me the pizza modifiers here and it says pizza modifiers minimum zero maximum name maximum two so I have I can choose one of those I can choose nothing so if I added one extra cheese and confirm it will come here and there is add-ons extra cheese so if I go to the pasta ah very good so we didn't create a pasta category so we need to create the pasta category and add the pasta into it let's try to do that let's go and log out from this and go to the portal inside the categories we go there choose the menu normal menu and there is no category for pasta we will create a new category called pasta and we will hear what the pasta ah, in Arabic pasta and confirm now we have the pasta uh, category let's go back to menu and items items in categories and we will choose here the normal menu and here we will choose the pasta and there is no items inside the pasta so now we will add the pasta into the category called pasta and assign now we have one category here and that's it now after we uh, finish this remember that pasta was not added to any kitchen station let's go to menu items and items in stations we go like this choose our menu and we do the pasta or inside the oven for example now i go to the pasta and assign it to the oven i also want the pasta to be printed on the dispatching station so i go to the dispatching station and add it from here and that's it now we have all the items on our menu on the dispatching station and on the oven i have also the pasta vegetable and vegetable pizza small and large after we finish here it is not reflected into the uh, BOS machine, BOS system. Let's check Viraz and log in. If we go to takeaway, we will see that there is no category for pasta. Let's go home and uh, settings, outlet settings, download assets, connect to cloud server, connect to local server and download assets now what will happen it will download all the items again from the default menu we added the pasta category and we added the pasta item inside the pasta category once it is finished we close if we go to the takeaway we will see the pasta here so pasta and pasta 30 if we add it like this 
it will show the red source and the white source. Now, what happened? Look at this. There are modifiers one of two. Source chooser for pasta. And it says, source chooser for pasta, minimum one, maximum one. If I don't choose anything and go to next, the system will say, please choose at least one. So I will choose red source. If I try to choose another one, white source, the system says, you cannot choose more than one. So I cannot choose two because minimum one and maximum one. If I go next, and there, here, we will find pasta extra, extra cheese, and extra onion, but that are minimum zero and maximum two. So we can go and choose, for example, one, choose two, and confirm, and now we have those added here. That's it, it's very easy, and we can use it as much as we want. We can update our categories, we can update our items, and then we can just download it from this uh, function here, download assets.